Hello! Welcome to this guide where I am going to show you how to get enough seashells to get the Kaholin sword or the, like, the, the powered up sword in Link's Awakening as early as possible. The earliest you can do this is after level four. So I'm going to show you uh, as, as early as possible how to get every single one of the shells. So let's just name our file appropriately and let's get started. So obviously before we can get any of them, you're going to need to go ahead and grab your regular sword. That's fine. Up here above the trendy game is where you can nab your first one. Sweet. Now, you're gonna need to start playing the trendy game to get as many rupees as possible. This is assuming you wanna get these shells as early in the game as you possibly can. So you wanna buy that shovel ASAP. So keep playing the trendy game. Now, in this game, I'm doing a three heart run, so I was hesitant to grab this uh, piece of heart. But once you do, there will be a shell waiting for you here at the trendy game. Now, all the way on the east side of the beach where you will meet Marin later, you can find another shell in the lower corner. Also in Chow Chow's room, this adorable little baby Bow Wow, there's the one if you dig over here. Now, once you get into the mysterious forest, you'll find this circle of blue flowers. It's right in the middle. Just give it the give a diggy do. And once you've finally gotten the key to the tail cave, you can actually go and dig this one up right away. So now go through the cave like normal, get yourself that cello, and now with the rock's feather, you can actually go back to the end of the mysterious forest, jump over here, and if you dig down here, that's another shell for you. And you can actually, with the rock's feather, access this area all the way over here in the wasteland. Um, this is where you can get another shell. At that point, you just gotta go through the game like normal, go get that power bracelet, from level two, and now that's gonna open up the map a lot more for you. So this is immediately to the right of level two. Just throw these boulders to grab this shell. Hey, the frame rate's gonna stutter a little bit. I apologize about that. This is right next to the house where you got the magic powder from. So you could dig up there. And notice I still have Chain Chomp for a walk because I could still do this pretty handily. This is uh, the very beginning of the mysterious forest. Yeah, you'll be able to get this treasure chest. Now you're gonna need bombs for this next part because you you have to actually revisit level one. So go back to level one and in this room over here, you can bomb the wall. Now that you have your handy dandy bombs to finally clear out this dungeon with this, this shell. Yummy. Now over back by the Marin Beach off to the right here is like the ghost house that you'll be coming back to later. You are able to now go in and pick up these pots that you can then go ahead and nab this little shell for yourself. Well, that's easy. Now this is over by the entrance to level four or at least the keyhole. There's a bomb that you have to throw into the hole. So you throw a bomb into the hole, boom, it blasts out a shell, nice. This is right up above level three. There's a little diggable space right here. That's great. Now for this next one, uh, I, I forgot to record footage of this, but there's a giant skull right here that you blow up. And I don't know what I did with my capture, but you're supposed to dig it up right there. So sorry about that, but that's where that one is. Now this is the place where you're gonna turn in the seashells. Later, there is one just hanging out here in the bushes. Uh, south of that, you have this little rock maze with a bunch of pigs in it, moblins, whatever you want to call them. Uh, there's a seashell, and you can actually continue right along into this cave where there is a secret bombable wall right over here that's going to lead you to the roof where you can find another seashell. And of course, if you're like me, then you go right through and forget there's a hole and then fall to your death. Okay, moving on. Uh, you gotta get through this rock puzzle. It's a little challenging. And then it is actually to the southwest of the statue. I miss a couple times. There we go. And then if you keep going through the cave and go south, it's uh, this is to the east of the phone booth. You'll get that one. So go collect the golden leaves like normal. And when Richard gives you access to the underground area, instead of going right, go left to get seashell number 21. So look, we haven't even entered level three yet and we are already over halfway towards getting our 
beautiful upgraded sword. Now go through level three like normal and that's gonna give you the Pegasus boots where you can now ram a bunch of things like this tree on the west end of the beach or this tree which is right next to level one or this tree which is right by the warp that's next to Mabe Village. I don't have a list of the locations on hand, so I, I, I'm stuttering about the, the locations. But okay, this is just north of the Animal Village. Uh, you are able to access this now that you have the Pegasus Boots, and it's hiding under a rock. Now, if you go into the south end of the ruins, you activate these uh, statues whose names are escaping me at the moment. Uh, one hit will kill you if you are on a three-heart run like me, so be aware. You just get that one to move to open up the staircase which has a chest in it. So yeah, you're going to that area early. It is a little dangerous, but it's helpful. Go back to where you helped out the walrus and play the Ballad of the Windfish. He will come up expecting you to be Marin, and you're not, so he'll just give you a little pity prize, which would be a shell. Nice. Uh, keep going through the desert and dig right there to get another one. Easy. And then over here on the southmost side, like that other shell earlier, I did not get footage of myself capturing it the first time, but it is right here um, under the boulder. So sorry about that, but it's there. Now at this point, you've progressed enough to unlock this uh, challenge called fill up your hearts. So you have to just fill up the entire thing and go through it and you will get a seashell as a reward for that. Um, it, this mode is really fun to play around with anyways. So I recommend it, even if you're not going seashell hunting. So once you finish it, he will go ahead and give you that lovely prize of a seashell. And unfortunately, he also gives you, uh, and I, I, didn't, I didn't realize he was gonna do this, a piece of heart, which actually was enough to give me four hearts. So I deleted this part of the save and yeah, I'm just moving on. So uh, once you deliver her letter to Mr. Wright, she will reward you with this shell. So be sure to go back and talk to her once you've rewarded it. Now you've gone through level four, you've gotten the flippers. Now we can actually get the Koholint sword. So this is right outside of level four. You head all the way to the west and go down this waterfall. And diving at the base of the waterfall is where you find this shell. Now, this area over here, it's by level three. Some people say you can just jump straight to it. I wouldn't chance it. Just wait till you get the flippers. There you go. And then this is, oh, oh, this is in Martha's Bay over by the ghost house. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy, little island. Now, when you see that glowing water, that's how you know that there is something special for you to catch. You can get a seashell for catching something special like a cheap cheap, look at him. Uh, that's the guy we're going for. So just go ahead and catch him. Only reel him in when he's not resisting, so you would stop right there and reel him in. Anytime he turns away from you or jumps out of the water, stop reeling him in because it will uh, cause your line to break. You also get another one if you catch a blooper, but I don't think bloopers are available after level four. And also if the, if the lake itself is not glowing, you can just warp and come back. Yeah. And if it is glowing, then you're good. And if not, you can just warp away and try all over again. Now, this is over by the animal village. You do have to jump into the water to climb up to get here. But there is a shell that you can dig up. All right, we're nearly there. Now we're in uh, like the Tal Tal Heights, Tal Tal Mountains. Um, over here by these waterfalls, you just dive in to find it. Um, head into this cave. You are going to need your bombs to get to that chest up there. And this is gonna be number 38. You are nearly there. If you are following this list, then this is like the last little area you have to do to get your powered up sword before you even set foot into level five. So there we go. And now we're actually going to go straight back the way that we just came. <laughs> that way and over to the left, go up this ladder where we are going to get our final two. So. Number 39 is over here by the house that's got like the, the ch bird enthusiast, like the chicken enthusiast guy. Uh, throw the bomb into this hole to get that shell. Oh, it bounces over there, so grab it over there. And then head all the way to the right from here. It's right under one of these rocks, and then that'll be it. That's number 40. Now, if you're like me, 
I reset once I got the piece of heart from Dompe because I wanted to finish with three hearts. I was doing a three heart run. So I found this other one. Go back to this area north of the animal village. Oh, check out that double kill, easy. Um, there is another one that you can have access to before level five. If you swim over here and go through this cave, it'll allow you kind of early access to this, the, the River Rapids game. So come over here and you need to pick River Raid and then make your way over to this uh, seemingly empty island. Now, obviously you don't have to do this if you followed all the other ones, but uh, I did because I wanted to keep having only three hearts. So it's that island right there. And without the hook shot, it is very difficult to maneuver. This took me uh, three tries. You'll notice I saved right before, so I didn't have to spend a hundred rupees every time I did this. I don't know why I thought the shovel was gonna help me, but somehow uh, it did. So whip out that shovel and then this is number 41, or in my case, it was number 40 for me. So also, if you're taking a look at that screen, um, I only have the four instruments. That is 40 shells. You have 41 total you can grab. And it feels pretty cool being able to go through and grab this. Oh, and by the way, the first reward, which I completely forgot about, happens to be, to my chagrin, a piece of heart. So I do end this run with four hearts and I'm feeling really sad about it, but it's worth it to get this video to you guys in a decent amount of time. Boom, you've got the sword now. And if you're like me, three heart runs are really fun to do. It's also nice to have a powered up sword that can fling beams at it. And there's my menu again, just to show you that I've only got the four instruments. There's my 40 shells and there is my Koholint sword. Nice. So I hope this guide has been helpful for you. This is not comprehensive. Obviously there are plenty of more seashells out there to get like the, the other reward and just to feel like a completionist. But for my sake, I wanted to show you how to get this sword as early as possible. And I don't think it is possible to get it any earlier than this without significantly breaking the game. So hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Later.